Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to control plugins in Studio One with the Line 6 FBV Shortboard MIDI Foot Controller. Let's get started. With the help of the Line 6 FBV Control Editor, the FBV Shortboard is one of the easiest MIDI controllers to set up. For this tutorial, we'll use pedals A, B, C, D, and tap to toggle effects, and the bank up and bank down pedals to scroll through presets. To program the controller in the editor, simply select a pedal in the editor and the row for that pedal will be highlighted. For the first five pedals, we'll select MIDI CC in the MIDI command column. In the value field, we'll enter 001 through 005. For port number and channel, we'll enter 1. And for switch mode, we'll select toggle. For the bank pedals, we'll select MIDI CC in the MIDI command column. In the value field, we'll enter CC20 for bank down and CC21 for bank up. Finally, for switch mode, we'll select single. The controller is now set. Let's set up Studio One. Setting up Studio One to receive messages from the Line 6 controller can be done in five easy steps. Step one, go to Studio One in the menu and select options. Step two, go to the external devices tab and click add. Step 3. Select New Control Surface from the list. Step 4. Enter a device name. Step 5. For Receive From and Send To, select FBV Shortboard and click OK. Now we're ready to set up the plugin. For the tutorial, we'll use the Architect Cori Wong plugin from Neural DSP. On the upper right corner of the plugin, select Line 6 from the drop down menu. Next, click the cog icon to open the parameter pane. In the control drop down, select Line 6. The external devices pane will open. Activate MIDI Learn and Step on each pedal on the bottom row of the controller and the bank up and down pedals. In the device pane, for the bottom row pedals, click the arrow next to the CC number and select button on off. For the bank pedal select, button press slash release. Deactivate MIDI Learn. Now move a control in the plugin. You'll see a hand icon appear next to the control name. Drag the hand icon to a pedal in the external device pane. Repeat for the remaining pedals on the controller's bottom row.
When you are done, you can now control parameters in the plugin. Now let's set up presets. This can be done in three easy steps. Step 1. Select a preset in the plugin. Step 2. Click the preset icon and select store preset. Step 3. Enter a name and click OK. Repeat the procedure to save several more presets. After you've saved several presets, right-click on the Bank Down button and select Assign Command. In the Search field, type Preset. Select Previous Preset and click OK. Finally, right-click on the Bank Up button. In the Search field, type Preset. Select Next Preset and click OK. Now your presets will increment up or down through the saved preset list. Note, the plugin must be in focus in order to change presets. If you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.